So how many of you guys have ever heard of the Magic Cups? Chances are probably not too many of you unless you're from around the St. Louis area, which in my case is good for me because then I can tell you more about it and you guys can get a better understanding of what it is. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of it, um, how the Magic House is funded, some of the things that it offers to the public and everyone else, and also some of the awards it has won. So here's some of the history. It is a nonprofit children's museum, which is in St. Louis, Missouri. And it was founded by two St. Louis women, uh, Jody Newman and Barbie Freud. And their goal was to create a cultural institution that is both educational and fun. It used to be a vacant, vacant house in the suburbs of Cleveland, Missouri, which was built in 1901 for the George Lane Edwards family. And uh, Mr. Edwards was the managing partner in his family's brokerage firm, E.G. Edwards. Um, the Magic House uh, opened on October 16th of 1979 and has had more than 10 million visitors since. And more than 47,000 students come to the Magic House annually for field trips and programs. And uh, I talked to Beth Fitzgerald, who is the president of the Magic House. And she told me that in 2010, the Magic House added an additional 32,000 square feet, which gives more room for exhibits and learning opportunities for the children. And that's what the Magic House looked like before. And then that's the Magic House after the expansion. Um, so now a little bit about how the Magic House is funded. Most of the Magic House revenue comes from admission fees. And for children one and up, it's nine dollars and fifty cents to get in. And then the rest of um, the sources of income are the cafe that they have, the museum shop, and they also sell memberships and different programs that they do, which still go out to schools they do this. Um, according to Charity, I'm getting the Magic Cast receives no funds from the United Way, the Arts and Education Council, or from tax revenue. So they get all their money from people like us that come to visit. And then uh, the Magic House is committed to sharing all the resources with children, especially those um, with the fewest opportunities. The Star Society Annual Fund and the Education Program Fund provides free field trips, outreach programs, and other hands-on learning activities for the children. And the Magic House also provides events for military families, uh, foster children, and also new families um, to America. So some of the things that the Magic House offers, they have birthday parties for the children, and you can choose from one of the five themed birthday parties that they have, or you can rent out a space and just have your own, and then you can go play in the Magic House. They also offer summer camps. They have three different ones, um, Camp a Little Bit, which is for ages four to five, Camp Magic House, which is for kids ages 6 to 9, and then Camp Current Call, which is for um, ages 8 to 11. You can also rent out the Magic House for different events such as wedding receptions, um, bigger parties, meetings, or anything else. And the Magic House also has outreach programs, which is where um, the teachers will go out to different schools, um, community centers, libraries, and like public areas, and put programs on for the children, which the children can learn about science and math and all of that. So some of the awards the Magic House has won, they've been recognized by Nickelodeon, Orbit, Family Fun Magazine, and Daggett, and they're also known as the nation's top attraction in child appeal. And they were also listed as um, number six in the top 25 things to do in St. Louis. And that's up there with going to like the brewery and all those places in the zoo and the science center. So in conclusion, today I've talked a little bit about the history of the Magic House, how it is funded, some of the things that it offers, and also some of the awards that you won, or it is won. Um, thank you.